So I just want to give you a, some tips on how to make your um, plumbing more quiet. Now I've just drew, driven, drawn a very basic drawing of an aquarium and then assuming that's a sump underneath the aquarium um, as a side view. So that's the front of the aquarium and that's obviously the wall. So it's very common for people that want to avoid weirs and stuff. What they'll do is just put a strainer here. It's important that the strainer is not got large enough holes in the strainer to allow your fish to go through. Um, then the water will go down through the plumbing pipe and then into the sump. And that's the water level of the sump. So the things that will affect the sound is how much water is in this pump. So if you're pumping the water back up at a rate that um, might exceed <clears throat> the capacity of the diameter of the plumbing coming back down, then there is definitely going to be increased noise. So putting a slightly smaller pump will allow the water to more freely move through the pump. So um, whether you run more or less water up will affect the, the sound. The next thing that will affect the sound is how far this pipe stretches into the water. If it's a shorter pipe or a longer pipe, um, putting a longer pipe a little bit longer can bank the water up in here, quieting it down a little bit. Other times, shortening it seems to quieten it down. Now, the other thing that seems to work very effectively as well is if you drill a hole in the top of the plumbing and then you um, push some... It's good if you push a little airline fitting. Um, actually, it's, don't do an airline fitting. Just do the um, the airline. You push the airline through and you can actually change the length of the airline by pulling on this pulling on the top. So use a fair bit of airline because you might need to go down into the pipe a bit and by pulling this up or pushing it down that can change the sound of the plumbing as well. So um, that basically allows air in. I also see people put a non-return valve on the top. Um, rarely ever a problem if you do or you don't. So once again Releasing pressure using a piece of airline, um, looking at the strainer, making sure the water can freely enter the, the um, plumbing, and altering the size of your pump or manipulating the, size, the flow rate of your pump, and um, altering how deep this pipe is in the water are all things that can affect the sound of your plumbing because there's nothing worse than noisy plumbing and by trial and erroring those few tips you can usually work out which one is causing you a problem and I'm not going to pretend that one method necessarily works because um, in different circumstances I've had success with different methods anyway see how you go and put any little tips on the bottom that you think that um, we needed to have added